Hinten ist der Sand coming out. Indeed. Nice. Didn't expect it. So good morning. Today, from a new country for me. This is indeed the sun coming out soon. I didn't expect this. Excellent, excellent. And we are here the only visitors. <laughs> this is absolutely great. In, I even forgot it now. Hotaju, I think Hotaju. Um, and we are now here in Turkey. There was the entrance there somewhere. The only visitors here. This is so excellent. Now there's the sun coming out soon. Absolutely excellent. Uh, you can't have it better. And this here is the ruins. This was once in the mid, not in the mid age, this was in the Bronze Age even. In the Bronze Age, uh, a town here in the center of Turkey, which was of the, one of the world's biggest towns here at the end. 15,000 people lived here and really important town in a, at this time uh, in the center of the traffic of everything here uh, in the Middle East and I think this is my first footsteps here in uh, Turkey oh my cell phone runs hot here after we arrived yesterday yesterday and we slept there in Kerkale which was a horrible night, absolutely horrible night. So, I will read this a little bit and then normally you should walk. It was written there that you walk here around, but we drive with the car. I think, you know, this is like in the US, this is nice. I expected to walk a little bit more, oh, but this is how it is. There's the blue, blue strip. Nice. So, and we go down in this uh, direction, and this is a town here, a part of the town. And there's a Sphinx there. This is our rental car. Uh, really cheap. It looks normal, but <laughs> it's made so cheap. That's really a plastic, plastic, stupid driving car. So, and here's a Sphinx, some kind of a Sphinx here. Indeed, I forgot it. It's uh, UNESCO World Heritage here now. And at the end, it was not really somewhere written that it is here. I found it by mistake at the end. And we are on the way now to Cappadocia. And this we do then. And you can see here, this, this is a huge temple. It was, for example, a huge temple here. This temple complex. This is what we see there in this direction. This entrance even. There's not much left. Let's go, let's go a little bit. This is this old Sphinx. There's nothing written about the Sphinx. They wanted to sell us a book. Oh, this is nice. This is new. Over centuries. This was rotting because the people could run over it. Tuja here, this temple complex. Look at this. Tuja. In the wrong direction at the end. This is there, perhaps. This is the entrance there. Yeah, this is the entrance. It looks a little bit not like it should have been. But okay. Of course, there are stairs here. You can see them. They are not on the picture. There is only rocks left here. Nothing really left. This temple, temple complex. And this here, this was written there, this is a Hittites, uh, a, so this is the entrance, I think, of the old temple here, of the temple complex. Jesus, and this was 3000 BC, 3000 BC, everything here. I remember, yeah, this was the floor, this is still visible here, I told you some in the Rome, in Rome, the pictures, uh, the 
the roads there, still how flat everything is. Yeah, three thousand years after, there it's even better in shape. Everything completely flat. And so at uh, this time, everything must have been really flat. And I still don't know how they have carried this heavy rocks here. All these heavy rocks. And there's so many, you can see them also, this is, they are completely flat here, on top. And they built the roads from this. And here the entrance, this is not so good condition, it's still good. But this here, for example, everything completely flat. And at this time, this must have, must have been so flat, that you could drive the here. With the car at this time, yeah, a wooden car with horses. Oh, yeah, huge walls. You can see the huge walls, big walls. What is the truck driving? This. Let's let's go, son. Come out. There's everything blue here in this direction. Then we have much nicer pictures here. It's also getting warmer then. Don't have a jacket with me. It's only 11 degrees here in Turkey currently. That's... Uh, what do we have? April? April 2nd or I think 2nd. Next week is Easter. Easter weekend. Yeah, the sun is coming out. Nice, nice, nice. It gets much warmer when the sun is coming out here. The sun here. In the, is it Middle East? Not really. It's really strong in April already. But you can see this, there's nowhere green currently. So this is also starting now. And this is 1000 meter high here. Temple 1. And this is still Temple 1. That's the big temple complex here. Where we currently work. <coughs> Still not perfect. There's still something going on here. They work here for 50 years now. And this is where we came from. Oh, there's another car. Another car. There's perhaps. No, there's no another visitor. We are the only visitors. And the people working there, they stay around there and do nothing. <coughs> so. Let's go to the other sign there. This is nice warm in the sun here. This is really nice. Today when it goes more south than in Cappadocia, it's, uh, it's forecasted even in the direction of 19 degrees for today, Cappadocia. It's I think 10 in the morning currently. And here's no one early waking up. Reconstruction of a part of the Hittite city walls. Ah yeah, okay, this is this is what we see there. This is the city wall. And it looks a little bit different than on the picture here. But this is a typical mud building. You can see this with this exhaust there, ex uh, where the water is flowing. Typical mud building. And so there was here around nine kilometer city wall around crazy the landscape must have been really completely different at this time and i think there's also currently a huge problem with desertification here let me read this first here yeah mud brick that's written here uh, here it's written 6.5 kilometer long and then there's written there that brick 45, 45, 10 centimeter. This is a centimeter. One brick that you need would need 1,000 workers to have one kilometer, and this is only one percent of the wall. So, and the companion said something that there is a polished rock here somewhere. Let's walk over the temple here. Said something. Where's your polished rock? It's a little bit windy. Here's no polished rock.
here this is everything with rooms here are some rooms this must have been really an amazing facility this time no oh, there's a guest coming who knows <coughs> so we go to the next station I think here's 100 such stations we only stop at the one and the major station. Yeah, it's 10. 10. The sun is nice warm. Yeah, it's everything flat on top. It's a labyrinth here also when you walk here. So many rooms here in this temple. Amazing. This must have been really a rich town. Perhaps uh, yeah, it was also in the center of some economic routes. Yeah, how big the road is. Here in the middle of uh, Turkey, in direction of Europe. I think also Africa and we definitely have also India here. So and here's the, ah, there's the polished polished rock indeed. There's the polished rock. This one here. Oh, that's really interesting to touch here. It's really completely soft to touch and completely uh, not flat but really how should I call it? It has a really soft feeling. Interesting. So I go back now. And the, the compagnon is going there somewhere. Everything full here with, with rocks. Let me also go there a little bit higher so that I perhaps can have an overview. Uh, there's no overview. Well, I think we, we go further. There's some more impressive things to see. Let's take the main road here. <coughs> so a little bit further, you can see there's still snow somewhere here in the higher parts. The trees still not green. In Germany everything gets now green. But here in the higher parts, uh, there in the distance also everything snow and here is also somewhere snow. And this is a part of the wall here, the outer wall. And this here is called the Lion's Gate. And you can see there the lions. There's one lion. On the right side there's another lion. On the left side it looks a little bit like a reconstruction. This looks too good. On the right side... But it looks really nice. If you look at this lion here. So that's another station and it goes up here. I think my camera makes some noises. It's really old now. Oh, there's a cave. There's the outer walls here all around. The Lions Gate where we have been. Here's some snow. Artificial bank. 30 meter high, 250 meter long, 50 meter wide. It space forms the southern end of the city fortification. The city wall runs along the top. Yeah, this is here. Oh, the Sphinx Gate tunnel. Uh -huh. Before the bank was heaped over it, door on the ground. 
Uh, export procedure is a function most probably representative rather than protective. This can be seen from the design of the outer side as we come to go down through the tunnel, then turn left and walk along the foot of the bank to the eastern staircase which lets up into the bank and back into the city through the Sphinx gate. Interesting. Left. So the tunnel is still open. Yeah, you can see through. Crazy. So, then. A little bit here. I hope it holds everything. It's definitely dropping. Let me make a picture. This looks much better here on the inside than the outside here. Nice picture. And this is artificial built. A nice picture here. If you look back in the direction of the city here. Let me take another picture. So, and that's the tunnel to the outer part of the city. And then there was somewhere described to go left. And the good thing is also, as I can see here now, they built much higher. Let's make a picture of the Compagnon. A little bit muddy here. <coughs> this is even nicer here. So, and now we go outside. Jesus, it's much more wind. And this is all artificial built here. You can see this all with all the rocks here. Some cameras above. I don't know why. Outer side. And then it says you go back left over uh, here. Go to the left over this part here. This was perhaps a procession path. What's this here? Some kind of building. Someone built a building there. And there's the top, and the said go left and then over the plateau. Is there something? It looks like. And there's also something outside there. really high here. And there's, this is the road. No, it's a different road. And we drive then here directly from... I forgot the name even again. Hatuja. Down south, and I think it's 200 kilometer. Over the country roads. Ah, yeah, indeed, it goes here. The nice stairs here. And look at this here. It's so old, everything. Like a pyramid. It was built once. There was on top also other buildings. And this was a little bit built like a pyramid. So, and we go now the stairs up here. And you can see this is also, uh, all the old stairs here. Tusha. Jesus, this looks not too bad here. So that's now the top of the plateau with these structures. This is the tunnel with the structures here on top. Is there a picture? No, there's no picture. How it looked. There was a little bit picture there below. And there's a Sphinx. Perhaps in a museum now. It looks like that this is a picture from a museum here. Sphinx gate. It looks not too bad here if you look. In the details, everything. Sphinx gate. And a pair of wooden doors. That's yeah, somewhere in the museum. Oh, Istanbul and Berlin. Captain Museums of Istanbul and Berlin. 
uh, on display in the Museum of Bolgatsch Kale, replaced at their original locations. Here, or what? What's this? This looks like the back, indeed, it's a replica. Uh, not really nice looking. This looks like the back of an uh, of the Sphinx, an animal. Crazy, and here everything so quiet here everywhere. There's nothing. The high mountains. I flew here all the time over when I flew to Australia the last time. I flew directly over here, somewhere, not far away from here. I've seen this, the, the mountains, the last months I flew here, I think, six, seven, eight times over. So, and this is the Sphinx replica. And this is not really good. Yeah, okay. It is something. Here we go. Oh, this looks a little bit ugly. <laughs> This is Bogachkale in this direction, there, the town, the Green Mosque. Oh, there's a car coming. So that's the gate here in this direction. Again, the gate here below. And there's even someone coming with a moped. Another spectator coming, walking there below through the tunnel now. And look at this nice view here in the valley. Bogac Kale with the mosque, you can't see. This is somewhere the entrance. It's nice here really on the hill here. Another town. Oh. And there's some more. Some more parts of the town there, there and there, everything full. Uh, this is the road going around here. I can see this from above here. The road going around and then here, not the very much outer road, but here the inner circle. Then it goes back and there's some more things to see there. Interesting. B and A, the upper city. This building. See it really. So that's another entrance it looks like. And there was written on the table what oh, a sound here, crazy sound. Um that there what is a that's a dead end here. Uh, what you can see here below everything. This is uh, Oh, I forgot already the number. 27 temples? I think 27 temples. This was all foundations of temples here. And in the ancient it was called the city of the thousand gods here. And this must be really remarkable in the ancient time to come to such a city here. And here perhaps the center of even the ancient Silk Road then later. Oh, this was later. But before the Silk Road there was even some um, some travel routes. Nice, really nice view. And summer must be really much better here, but doesn't matter. This is how it is. That's again from the outside here. Outside, outside, outside. And some cameras, and one camera goes in this direction. I don't know why. <laughs> exactly in this direction there. There must be something special. Hmm. The other camera goes in this direction there. Anyway, that's the gate. Look out for the fence that nobody is entering. 
Yeah, but here on the left side. Goes directly, goes to this point here. The camera. Here. Hmm. Anyway, um, was, was there something? It's perhaps that no one, no one is dumping something. Um, that's the that's the gate. It's the main gate in the best condition. Kept here, and you can see this still here with this nice oval form. This looks really nice with the oval form here. This is really unusual. Normally you don't have this. You have simply a, a square form, and here you have a nice carved oval form with several chambers behind. And there's also a figure uh, where the original is in the museum and again here's only the reconstruction left. Here this is uh, from top somewhere falling down. And that's the inner. <coughs> and this was also closed with wooden door. And here you can see there, this looks a little bit pharaonic to be honest, everything here. This looks completely pharaonic like in Egypt and that's the figure and that's it and that's the hill where we have been before there so a little bit deeper now Lower, I mean. There's some inscription. Ah, there's even more on the left side. I see it on the left side. There's even more. It's even broken there. Interesting. On the left side there is something, and there on the right side there is something. Some hieroglyphs where it's written that it's not completely um, deciphered here, and this is a part. It looks really crazy. It looks completely crazy. The, how it's written there. Hmm. There's again some mud. So, the summer must be really nice and warm here, but even now it's really perfect. And there's another point there below, you can walk up there, the hill, this is what we also do, I think. And it's good weather currently, it's not too cold. It's even too warm than the description I've seen that you have to take with you plenty of water and everything. And then you have your tourist hordes here, yeah, nothing green. And this there, this looks not so spectacular. Let's see what's then the written there. So, and we met a woman here, and she said that here is a spectacular place. On top, <coughs> let's see, it's really nice here. So yesterday we have been to Kerekalle and it was a horrible room, the most horrible room I've ever been. It was small, it was low, the bathroom was only 180, 1 meter 80 high. <coughs> it smelled like smoking. Uh, it was really a smoking room, or this is no difference in Turkey, they're smoking and not smoking. And we couldn't sleep because of all the nicotine we got passively. And there was also noise from the roads outside from the street till 2. I woke up at 2 and I thought it's 6 in the morning. And then I woke up all the night again and again 
and perhaps of the nicotine. Oh, you can't go inside there. Oh, it's a nice view here again. There with the city, town, city there. There's even more than one mosque. Südburg, Southern Fort. In the above world and the underworld. And this is the explanation. This is called very often used. Can't really see what's there behind there. And there you are in front, it's an image, uh, uh, there's a fence by the way here, and there are some hieroglyphs there. It's really nice located here. And this, you can also read this here, these are the hieroglyphs here, is uh, the a chamber of the last king. Fatusa, 1200 before zero, and there was some kind of a cult cham chamber. And the hieroglyphs are about what the king did at the end. Uh, uh, so this must have been really a big, big complex. Everything here, everything full there on the right side. Some more. And there is so much gun here, there must, been, must have been so many more hieroglyphs, statues and everything. But over the aeons everything is gone. Oh, it's even light. So, that's the town of... I forgot the name already, what the name of the town is. Oh, it smells bread, there's a bread smell. This is the Joe Biden of... Oh no, must be careful here. Not to say something... Yeah, you know, Joe Biden of Turkey. <laughs> I'm still in Turkey, but this goes not online when I'm in Turkey. <laughs> Jesus, must be careful. Um, and uh, we had there some food on the left side. And uh, this is currently Ramadan. So and you can see this also here, the restaurants are closed. For example, this restaurant. And they open up even only in the evening then. And uh, we paid, I think, double the price now because there was one still serving us with the nice, really nice kebab very nice with lamp, no it was not lamp, it was the young cow for the name it was really nice but it was definitely twice the price, it was twice the price no, perhaps, perhaps not, you know twice the price Ah, it was twice the price. And so now we're going. Now uh, it's 1 p.m. in direction of uh, Cappadocia. This how it is. So we are now here in the village, really in nowhere, it's a little bit more windy and this is also 1400 meter high, I think 1300-400 meter high, 
this is, should be here somewhere scenic views. Is it closed? Hmm. The scenic view point here was written Somewhere here in the center. No one knows what this is, but at the end it's an old old graveyard here. 1967. 2018. Jesus. I don't know why this is here a scenic view. Look at this here, 1969. No one is this. 1969. Let's go this direction there. This looks like. I don't know what this here is. I definitely don't follow any scenic viewpoints mehr, so on my map. It doesn't mean anything. Perhaps this was a famous person. Who knows? Perhaps the whole graveyard is famous. I don't know. Let's go. Crazy plants here. Is this Salbei? So, a short break here and look at the flowers here. There's already some flowers coming. This is perhaps whatever. Is it cherry? I don't know what this is. It's perhaps almond. Oh, can I know? Perhaps almond. Could be almond. And someone built here. There was water flowing in this basins there. Here inside. There was perhaps a pool for fish or something. <laughs> and this here, this was once a restaurant. And it's not not active anymore. Oh, it's not possible. Oh, nice. Nice view on top here, perhaps. And this here is definitely, this is... Yeah. That's walnut. Walnut. <clears throat> oh, it's closed. And here is the restaurant again. And there were some people fire making here. Interesting. Look here. A nice restaurant here. Fire. They were fire making. The roof looks, looks okay. There's no water coming through the roof here. There they demolished something. For what reason ever. There's some bricks here. But the roof is completely perfect. There's only windows missing here. Kitchen. Oven, big oven for the restaurant. Oh, this is missing. The exhaust is missing. A little bit muddy here. And here they removed somehow all the parts here. It's 
nice place to have a restaurant here with a huge space here, but there's no one coming through really, and perhaps in summer. Perhaps it has once seen better times, and now everything is gone. Do I have my... no. I have no... no... there was also an oven. No photo apparatus with me. There's more. There was once more here. So that's a small, small village here. On the river. You can see this here, the river. They're parked here directly on the bridge. That's what you do here. And there are some old buildings here. There are everything full with caves here. And this is where Cappadocia starts here now for us from the north coming. Buildings, buildings, buildings. In this direction also some caves here. Caves and everything full with caves here already. There is some kind of wall there above. And there are some other caves and this is also closed. We drive a little bit further now and directly into Cappadocia more. And there's a pump to get some water. So, we are now close to Göreme, Cappadocia. It takes still a while and there's... Uh, till we have real, real cave parts five kilometer perhaps they're behind I don't know I don't know why we stop here <laughs> that's not the things I wanted to see but it looks nice is the sun out now that's crazy It's warm now, with the sun out. There are so many stray dogs here. So many. We are now here. What's this? There's the entrance. And the entrance fee is 300. So you have to pay here 300. That's outrageous. It's a bottle grave. Another, another cave, it's called cave, and again a bottle grave, here where you can live inside, oh there's it goes even deeper here inside, interesting, this is the sleeping room or whatever, and there's a hole, here's a hole, it's probably the storage facility against the reds and here's some windows to watch outside that's the entrance 300 this is outrageous we can go there there are so many mm -hmm. to see there yeah. directly in the opposite do you see this here mm -hmm. and you simply walk there a little bit around mm -hmm. and that's it we don't have to walk there on the left side we simply walk there on the right side a little bit through and that's it there is another cave I would like to take now. And then we can go to the cave where you eat. So that's another, here directly at the entrance here. You see this? And this was once a church, you can see this here. 
There's even some cut up picture left here where they have removed the faces and the rest is also disappeared or removed here. You see this afterwards that they destroyed everything here. This was everything destroyed or is everything destroyed. Yeah. Everything. Here in the church altar and you can see that it scratches everywhere to remove everything. So and this is a grave, graveyard here, three graves minimum or even more than here. Looks really like in Rome a little bit. And this is one, two, three, four, perhaps. Perhaps even more. And this was all painted, I think. There's even a little bit of chapel here. Hmm. enough to see without paying something here here around everywhere you can see there everywhere caves here caves 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 perhaps they are in better shape but for 300 lira you get perhaps only sh caves and that's it nothing no explanation very similar to what's here at the end and this is a little bigger here it's over two meter it's not this not. Oh, it's there behind. There's some kind of a rock there behind. It's a strange rock. Like it was closed from inside. Or it was falling down. It's everywhere. Everything full with water bottles. Because in summer, it must be really, really hot here and full with people everywhere. So another cave here. By the way, uh, with the next earthquake here, it's collapsing everything over time. Nice view and there in this direction. And there, if you look around, there's even a door that is closed that you can't go there inside. It's relatively easy to go there, I see. Yeah. <laughs> it's relatively easy to go there. There are some stairs, yeah. Someone put inside. And it's not easy, but. It's possible. This is close there. There's an even written number 11 there. There you can also see that there is some paintings of holy figures there. And I think there is still the face left. It looks like that there is still the face left. From this person's there. Oh. With the sun, a really nice overview here. You can see there. It's really nice. There's a road on top. It's here only a valley. And there's so many caves here everywhere. And by the way, you don't have to pay here. Take the free caves and spend 300 for a meal for two. Yesterday we paid even half of it. 150 for a meal for two. So that's two meals for two. So that's another much bigger cave here. And this here, it's low and small. Dirt room. Oh, what's this here? It's a sand clock. There you can attach ropes. There are another, there are another, and perhaps there were some ropes going there. Is there on the other side? There's a sand clock. There's another sand clock. And this one was broken, perhaps here somewhere. And there's another sand clock. Perhaps this was to dry the clothes, whatever. And there's another sand clock here. And this was always, it's always, and you can also see it here. 
to attach something. Uh, I mean, to attach a rope. It's a really nice method to have something. There's also a sand clock there below, and you can also see that it's round here. Everything used up here. Put the tried to dig some holes here. It's perhaps for candles or something. Can't see. And here the door. It's really nice. This is also relatively high. And here below there must be also something. It's definitely not the ground, I'm not sure. Here's another cave with some paintings here, the brown paintings and the brown paintings. Oh, this is the cross, the old cross. So here behind, oh, it's even broken already here. Oh, what's this here? There's some kind of balcony. And this part is even already broken here. There's some kind of a balcony here below. Just be careful with my head. And definitely here is below, ah, there's a fence. There's something. There are some horses, oh there's camels, donkey. Here's not so much happening here around, looks nice. Ah, we go back to try to resolve something to, to eat. Because it's Ramadan and then everyone will eat. And I think it will be impossible to get something.